Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be looking at the G-Shock reference number DW9052. But before we get into that, let's look at which watch decided to grace my risk with his presence. It is the Oris TT1 with a blue dial. Well, you guys will definitely see this watch in the future. So stay in tune for that one. Let's look into these watches. Quick features of this watch. The case size is 47 millimeters. Lug to lug, it's 48 millimeters. 15 millimeters thickness. It weighs around 60 gram. Water resistant is 200 millimeters. This watch has quite a few functions like an alarm, a countdown timer, a stopwatch. You can set it up so you'll get hourly chime and it basically has a, a bunch of features that normally come standard with a G-Shock or I should say Casio in general. So this watch has three windows. The first one shows the date. The second one is just an animation of the 60 seconds and 10 seconds. The third one shows the time. So this watch is pretty easy to use. All the buttons are clearly labeled. So if you wanna change the mode, you can basically click on the mode button. One thing to pay attention to, at the top right, the time actually shows up there when you're trying to set your alarm and so on. So that's a very nice touch. And if you take notice, the animations actually stop moving too. So this shows that Casio is paying attention to the small details. Uh, some other reason why Casio is my favorite brand. Um, so let's go back to the timer. And, um, Let's look at the other watch. I have this watch for two reasons. One, to show a, a different variation in colors. So the first one was gold and black, and this one is basically red, uh, white, and black. So I think this one overall looks a little cooler, but one of the main reasons I brought this is to show you how much of a beating this watch could take and still work, and why I don't let my wife wear my watches. So originally, this watch was mine. The wife saw it, she liked it, she started wearing it, and this is the outcome. She beat it up real bad, like real bad. But yeah, this watch can take a beating. Like, come on guys, look at it. It barely says G-Shock anymore. But you know what? This is the reason why it was made. It was made for you to just strap it to your wrist and not worry about it. Now we have to take a, a few moments to give thanks to the Casio gods for blessing us with this watch. Because you know what? If you want a watch that you can go swimming in and you don't have to spend a fortune, don't worry. The G-Shock got you. Do you want a watch that you can work with even with sharp tools? Don't worry. We got you. So this is how the watch looks on my 7 inch wrist, so you can have an idea of how it would look on you as well. I couldn't recommend this watch more. 
it's around $50. I bought these in Walmart, but I'm pretty sure you can find them online for around that same price as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.